So 11.22, shout out to my guy, Energy in Motion. And uh, he's the guy that always goes, hello, or something like that. I know I'm messing it up, man. But um, he had a post where he was talking about trusting yourself. And I was going to mention this, so I'm using that as a, as a, uh, and well said, by the way. Um, use this as an example of trusting yourself. Um, the journey that I'm on is one that's unconventional, definitely. And I'm a radical in a, in a sense not because of any belief system or dogma or anything, because I know that I'm no one special. I've accessed something that is within everyone, and this is how we can make this reality better. So I know um, that it's a fact. And the thing is, I'm not asking anyone to believe anything outside of themselves. All right, so with that being said, on this journey, I've had to learn to trust myself. I've invested in myself when no one else was there and when no one else believed in me. And then gaslight, are gas lit by plenty of people. And one of the stories that I wanted to tell was a leap of faith that I took leaving a $90,000 a year job to explore and pursue this 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 life, this journey. And um, it was scary at the time. And a lot of things happened as a result of that. A lot of people thought, didn't understand it. and didn't want to understand it. They just saw me leaving comfort. And it was uncomfortable, but that part of the journey allowed me to shake off a lot of things that would have hindered me in this aspect of it. So that allowed me to clear my plate of all the people that were parasites, if you will. So there was a benefit of that uncomfort that I couldn't see then, but I'm glad that I trusted myself now because I could have been living a different life where I was unhappy and trying to hold up a persona and an ideal that a lot of people try to do, the American dream, quote unquote, but really aren't happy. So um, trust yourself. And it may take time to really refine that inner voice that you have, that something that tells you to do something. But once you practice on a small scale and you begin to trust yourself, then you let a life that is extraordinary because it opens up a realm of possibility that you wouldn't have accessed had you played it safe, if you will. And there's no way to play life safe because we're all going to die. So the worst case scenario is going to happen and will happen. The thing that we have control over is how we react to the circumstances and what actions we take during the in-between. And, and, and that's what life is. And I'm not afraid of death. I'm not scared of death. It's just part of the unknown. I actually think um, being born is scarier than, than dying. It's a harder transition to to be born than it is to die. And I feel we experience death on a small scale with sleep every day or every night. All right, peace.